A vintage model steamboat, this one is part 6, mounting the steam plant to the floor and fitting the floor into the boat. The floor is going to be held into the boat using JB Weld, so I won't be able to remove it. The brass plate at the rear of the steam plant, which supports the gas tank and the condenser, is held to the ladder frame using 6 6 PA bolts. I removed two of these and I'm drilling the holes out to 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. Some of the steam piping was in the way, so it had to be removed. In this clip I'm refitting it. The next part of the job is to lay the plant on its side and cut a piece of brass to fit across the inside of the ladder frame. One piece of 5 16 square brass bar will do. I have to be careful though not to get the tolerance too tight. Removing the steam plant from the boat needs to be a very easy job. As the steam plant is held in place by the side rails on the floor, a couple of brass slot head bolts will hold the plant in position to this piece of brass bar once it's all put together. Over now to the bandsaw to cut this piece of brass to the correct length. And once I've finished cutting the brass using the bandsaw shown, I cleaned up the edges on the one inch belt sander. In this clip I'm marking the position for two holes that will be drilled and threaded 4BA to hold this brass bar in exactly the right place on the floor. You should get the idea by this clip, here it is loosely in position underneath the bed plate. Then I turned the plant the right way up and here I'm using my right hand scriber to mark the position of the two holes on the plate through onto the brass bar. Then I drilled the two outer holes Tapping size for 4BA, which is 3mm or 1 8 of an inch. And here, be very careful not to snap off the tap, I'm tapping the holes. Brass is a very easy material to thread. You still have to back off the tap now and again to clear the chips. And if the tap starts to make a squeaking noise, it's a good idea to use some lubrication, or tapping compound if you have any. After threading these holes, I bolted the bar in position using two cheese head machine screws. Even though various viewers are always telling me off about it, I always refer to these as bolts. As far as I see it, I make models, and these are model bolts. Turning the plant on its side one more time, with the crossbar held in position by the two bolts that I've just shown, I'm using my small Proxon motor tool to make two indentations in the brass plate through the two holes as shown. There are many methods of doing this, I just found this to be the simplest. Once I'd made the indentations, I removed the crossbar and then drilled all the way through. The drill bit, by the way, was 2.8mm, just under tapping size for 4BA. For this next step, I fitted the steam plant and the floor in position in the hull. And once I'd checked the alignment of the engine and propeller shaft, to make sure that the steam plant was sat on the floor in exactly the right place, I used my scriber through the two holes that I'd drilled in the plate, to mark the position of the holes in the crossbar onto the wood, after which I drilled a couple of holes. These two holes are a bit bigger than they need to be. I think they were 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. Normally 9 64 of an inch is clearance size for 4BA. I'm taking no chances with this, I may need some slight adjustment. Currently I'm screwing into position two more machine screws underneath, with washers as well to spread the load. First of all, I need to make sure that this system works before I make it permanent. Once I'd done this, I sat the steam plant the right way up, and here you see the effect. And yes, I can see the two small holes inboard of the mounting bolts, but it really doesn't matter. When I fitted the steam plant complete with the floor into the boat, everything seemed to sit where I wanted it to. The job is working out okay so far. To make sure that the two bolts holding the piece of brass to the floor never work loose, I'm screwing them into position finally using some cyanoacrylate adhesive. Not only are the bolt heads stuck to the washers, the washers are stuck to the wood, and I even put some cyanoacrylate down the hole in the brass bar. I really don't think these bolts are ever going to work loose. Now for the fun part, I've mixed up quite a lot of JB Weld, and here I'm applying it to the formers. Not only did I apply the JB Weld to the face of the formers, once I'd done that, I applied some to each side a bit higher up. This is a very useful tip, but it only applies to 24-hour 2-pack epoxy. What will happen, even though I didn't show me applying it on this clip, is that any JB Weld stuck to the side of the formers over the 24-hour period will settle down into the bottom of the boat. 
I carefully positioned the entire steam plant and floor into the boat. So it's now sat on the JB Weld, which obviously isn't going to set for another 24 hours. I've connected the airline, and here I'm running the engine, to make sure that it's not been restricted by the plant being out of alignment. Everything is fine at the propeller shaft end, it's now time to make sure that the boiler is sat exactly in the middle of the boat. The measurement at each side is 1 and 1 eighth of an inch. The engine's aligned with the prop shaft, but really one of the most important things at the moment that I'm concerned with is the chimney at 90 degrees to the deck. This really does have to look right, and I'm taking no chances. Measure twice, and then you only have to fit once. Here's a top tip. It really does help, when aligning the steam plant in the boat, to have the chimney a lot longer. So, I could put a long copper tube in there, but a ruler does the same job. I stood back and looked at it for a while from just about every angle. And don't forget, if you move anything, check the dimensions of the boiler against the side of the boat. And don't forget to keep your eye on the alignment of the engine's crankshaft with the propeller shaft, that is most important. Then vacate the workshop for at least 24 hours until the JB Weld has set. And that's it for this very important episode. May your prop shafts always align properly. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists, and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.